So we'll start things off here at the Cobalt 8 gallon, which is now home to two pairs of adult guppies, as well as a pretty good number of fry at this point. Based on the different sizes, I'm guessing I have maybe three, uh, possibly four batches that have dropped. Uh, looks like they've mainly been batches of about four, maybe five tops. The first batch, which dropped probably about two weeks back, is now starting to show a little bit of color in the tails. Uh, nothing much, just some black spotting, but it's, it's coming in, so we'll see what comes out of all of these fry. And jumping over to the 29 gallon paludarium, uh, we have a not so unusual sighting of uh, Mother Pisto and another batch of fry. These two are pretty much consistently spawning now uh, at least once a month. Uh, at this point, the uh, mother and father pistol are guarding the, the young from the other fish in the tank, which unfortunately for them means there's a little bit less real estate. They spend the time when there's fry in the tank pretty much quarantined to one side of the tank um, however, there aren't any injuries inflicted, um, so I don't feel any need to separate any of the fish out. Uh, but there's no mistaking who is boss of the tank when it comes to spawning time. It is about time for me to lower the temperature in the tank uh, to kind of change the seasons for the fish in there. Uh, so we'll probably see a break in spawning. Um, however, sometimes I see them still spawned in the lower temperatures, so we'll see how that goes. Alright, and finally we have some fry that I have not updated you guys on in quite a while, but they are still here. Uh, that's my Farlowella fry, uh, which have been around now for a few months. Uh, if I'm remembering correctly, it was about December when they hatched. And they have been steadily growing and steadily eating all this time. Uh, right now, they're getting pretty close to about an inch and a half, uh, maybe two inch on some of them. Uh, but they're kind of just at a steady growth pace. Um, they're still eating well. They get a good bit of rapashi and uh, canned green beans um, with some softened spinach every now and then. They also do feast a lot off of all the botanicals that I put in their breeding box here. It creates a lot of biofilm for them and that becomes pretty much their main snack whenever I'm not feeding them. So they can always constantly be grazing. Now the botanicals that are in there right now have lost most of their uh, biofilm at this point since they have been in there for so long. Uh, so today is time to change them out and to throw in some canned green beans for the Farlowella too. So I figure I'd bring you guys along for the ride.
right so now they've got some fresh botanicals and as you can see they are already starting to flock to it it'll be about a day until the botanicals really get a nice biofilm built on them so in the meantime they have some some canned green beans that I dropped in there too for them and that'll feed them really well until there's a nice layer of biofilm on there for them to eat on too. Alright and if you stuck around to the end I figured we would go ahead and check in on my isopod culture that I set up in the last video and uh, see how they are growing and, and doing. I've been um, feeding them pretty periodically uh, kind of giving them some some vegetables, uh, they've got a carrot in there, and of course there's the mix of all the leaf litter and, and decaying organic matter there that they can munch on, uh, and a little bit later on I'll give them some rapashi too. But let's go ahead and, and see how they're doing. Uh, now these guys are pretty tiny, so I'm not sure if I'll really be able to find them, so hopefully this isn't a complete fail. Uh, let's see, usually they like to hide under here. Let's see. Let me put down the camera, dig, dig in here, and see what I find. All right, so I found most a good bit of them hiding under what was left of the carrot that I had given them. And if I can move that one little piece of twig out of there. That one's a fairly large one right down there. And it looks like there's a couple more next to it. I was trying to see if maybe I find any little baby ones too but they're probably hidden down in there. I have seen some, uh, but I don't want to bug them too much, really get them out of, out of their hiding spots. But um, that is good. We do have a growing culture. Uh, so hopefully in the next couple of months, I'll be putting a few of them into the paludarium, uh, but I'll keep this culture going too, uh, just to keep, just to keep their population up, but also just because it's just kind of fun. All right, everybody, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys are just as excited as I am to see everything growing up in here. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe for more, leave me a comment down below. Remember to stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video.